we're gonna start making a pot with a slab. So right now, the slab has been rolled on a slab roller, and the clay is in stage two. It's plastic, and that doesn't mean that it's made out of plastic. It means that you can move it pretty easily. If it were leather hard, it would hold its shape. If I went up like this, it would stand up, but it's not gonna do that right now. So I've cut a circle, and I've cut a slab, and I have some slip, that's the first stage. So it's really, really watery clay. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna kinda dip this in here. And I'm gonna take my fork and score. That's gonna kinda disrupt how those clay particles are aligned on a microscopic level. Um, and then I'm gonna take my paintbrush and just add another little layer of slip. I don't want to add too much because that will make it really difficult to work with. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to score the edge of this uh, about an inch up. And I'm gonna flip it over and score this side. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because we're going to join this around and that's gonna be kind of where we put it together. Remember our slip is kind of like our clay glue. So um, I'm actually going to paint some slip onto this one and we'll probably add, add some in there later. So I'm gonna wrap this around like this and try to line up the bottom slab with this one here. So I'm seeing that it's kind of long and what I can also do is a trick that we remember from our quail building days is to come down and just cut that part off so we don't have a lot of extra clay and have it really thick there. Um, so I'm going to take this piece and use it kind of as a way to put them together. So I've got those two things there and with my hand inside I'm going to take my finger and just start joining and I'm basically kind of like my fingers an eraser. I'm erasing all of those little lines as I go around. All right, and the bottom is still fairly flat. And when I come here, I'm going to go across on the inside, you might have to take um, like the handle of your paintbrush and kind of smush across. But I'm gonna do that. I think I'm more comfortable with my fingers. I'm gonna go like this. And I'm also pushing that piece down in there. Of course. Okay, and then I can just stand it like that and it's, it's ready for the next step. Uh, not quite, it's kind of, as we worked with it, it's become more leather hard. You see it holds its shape. We wanted to kind of keep it circular.